Hello. So we're going to be growing uh, several different varieties of milkweed and I just wanted to talk briefly about how you do this if you want to do it yourself. Um, so there's a few tricks with milkweed. Um, I would suggest starting them in containers, um, but you can start them outside in your garden if you want to. Uh, directly sowing them. You just have to really pay attention to making sure you're watering them enough if you do that. So you're going to want to start with a container that's at least four inches. These are probably more like five inches deep. Um, and we're obvi obviously going to be planting a lot of them. So this is like a homemade seedling mix soil where we do like one third peat moss, one third perlite, one third vermiculite. Um, and so it doesn't have any fertilizer in it. If you're gonna, we do have a video I can link in the description on how to do a seedling mix if you're interested in that. Um, but whatever soil you use, make sure that it doesn't have um, fertilizer in it. So you can get seedling mixes from the grocery store. Well, maybe not from the grocery store, from the hardware store um, that are gonna have that are that are that won't have fertilizer in them because you don't want that when you're first getting things to germinate and then once they have two true leaves so they'll they'll put out their little cotyledons um and then once they have two like adult looking leaves um which should only take a, a few weeks after germination then you can go ahead and start fertilizing uh, with whatever your choice fertilizer is so this is about what most milkweed seed is going to look like. Um, they'll have like a little, if you collect them yourself, uh, or if someone gives them to you in the pod, they'll have kind of little feathers coming out of the back of them that help them transport around. Um, so most milkweeds need cold stratification, usually just one month of cold stratification in order to germinate. Um, so I'm sowing them in here and I'm going to be putting them outside right now. It is the beginning of January, so that should be more than enough time. But you can also put them in sterile soil that's damp, not wet, in your refrigerator. And then go ahead and sow them after that. And that works just fine also. So since most of the seeds look the same, you can... This, this is a pretty, pretty good guideline for pretty much all of the seed varieties of uh, milkweed. Um, if they do specify you don't need cold stratification, um, which some of our species don't, then that does help you skip an extra step. Um, so here you can see I've put them about a quarter of an inch um, into the soil, just put a little indent, and then I'll just go ahead and cover them and firm the soil up. And I'll just do that with each seed and cover them up. And then I'll water them in really well. And we're planting a bunch of different varieties, so we'll label them um, to make sure we know what they are when they come up. So when they start germinating, they'll probably grow, grow reasonably quickly. So I'll expect them to get about this tall within the first couple of months of their growth. Um, at that point, I'm gonna transplant them into gallon pots. Um, you have to be really gentle. You can leave them in pots this size for a lot longer if you want to, um, but I've found that they just grow a lot faster if I bump them up into bigger pots or go ahead and put them in the ground after that. Um, the thing to remember is that they have very delicate root systems. So when you transplant them out of something like this, you have to be really careful not to disturb the roots hardly at all. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I like transplanting them early because they also, if they get root bound and a root bound plant with sensitive roots is a pain in the butt. So um, I would suggest transplanting them within a few months um, into something a little bigger. The thing <clears throat> that you have to remember about uh, milkweeds is that they take time to get established. Um, so usually they'll come, they'll grow their first year and all of their leaves will be kind of thin and I won't be able to tell the varieties apart very well. But by the next season, when they've died all the way back to the ground and they come up in the spring, the leaves will look, look significantly different um, from one another. They'll start looking like the normal mature plant leaves that, I'm, that you're used to seeing. Um, otherwise they all just kind of look the same when they're juveniles or at least very similar, so it's hard to tell them apart.
when you have a plant that is a year or two old, it's going to take time for them to get established um, and get to a nice full-size plant. Um, so varieties that we're going to be growing, we're going to be growing uh, butterfly milkweed, uh, antelope horn, showy milkweed, which is the one that the, the monarchs seem to like the best, but it is a little higher water, and then horsetail or world milkweed, um, which is the one that's the most common uh, in, this, in this area or immediately around Flagstaff, and is also seemingly the lowest water and easiest to grow. Um, we'll have seeds for the showy and the horsetail milkweed available um, for sale through our nursery this spring through fall as well.